Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is Ivan, my mentee who joined me back in May and this is his fourth rent to service accommodation. This one is in Wales. The profit margins on this are very healthy. So say yeah. hi, Ivan. Hello. This is his daughter, Serena. So we're Hello. got to look after her today. <laughs> so yeah, let's have a look then, yeah. man. Come on in. Hallway. Into the hallway, yep. The kitchen's in here. Let's shut the door. So we've got all the finishing touches going in today. So the toaster, the kettle, um, all of those last bits are all going to be going in. But this is the space. Yeah. It's pretty yeah, much done. It's, um, it's a nice standard, isn't it? Yeah. Once you've got the stuff in here and the tool, toolbox out, it's a nice fit for purpose kitchen, really. Definitely. Yeah. So that's the kitchen. <coughs> this is the bathroom. There, yeah, nice and simple. Yeah. Sink, toilet. So there's three bathrooms in here. Um, this is a six bed. It's a, it's a three bed. Um, it's a three oh, bed. Oh, sorry, you've got, you can sleep six people. But yeah. we can sleep six, yeah. yeah. So we've got two two singles, one double, <laughs> and one king. Um, this is the lounge. Come on in. So the whole place was furnished for less than £1,000. Less than £1,000. Less than £1,000. How yeah, did you do that? Under. So it's all done on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. Um, I rented the van for a week, so I paid about £150 for a week-long van rental. And I just drove around every day, every single day, picking up um, items. The sofa picked up, designer table picked up, this rug, TV unit. Um, all the beds you'll see, you know, that was all, all picked up throughout the week. All for sort of like, you know, a fraction of the market rate. Yeah, yeah. When people think of service accommodation, they think, you know, it's going to cost me two and a half maybe to £5,000 to furnish. Yeah. It can, depending on what spec you go for. Definitely. Um, yeah. I furnished a three bed, very high luxurious spec. That cost me 5K to furnish. Wow. Yeah, but I'd done it very high spec and yeah. my nightly rate was £350. So, nice, nice. yeah, it depends on what spec you're going for, but this is just a perfect spec for contractors and the odd family to stay, isn't it? So, yeah, it's kind of like a mid-scale, isn't it? Yeah. And, um, we're charging, so we're at 129 a night at the moment. Okay. So that's the, that's the rate we're charging. And top end, we'd like to creep it up to sort of 189, yep. I think, is, is the maximum we'd achieve. So, yeah, yeah nice. It's good, it's good margins on it. Yeah. We'll talk about the profits and the rent. Yeah, definitely. At the end of the video. Let's so have there's, a look at the... there's three floors. Um, this is the, that's the ground floor. This is the first floor. So we've got the single bedroom in here. Yep. Made into a twin. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. We'll just ignore the fact this bed isn't made yet. <laughs> yeah, it's still needs some bedding. Still needs some bedding, I've yeah. arrived slightly too early. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool, so that's this room. Um, bathrooms, all done, yep. ready to go. Cool. Bright blue. Is there a shower in this place? There is upstairs, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. That's just the bath in there. So yeah. We've got the second bedroom here. Double room. Um, I'll turn the light on. Yeah, so you've got the office space in there. We've got an office chair coming later on today as well. So that's going to get set up. I love the, the orange. Gonna go in there. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, really cool. So second bedroom. And then finally, we have got the master bedroom upstairs with the ensuite. <coughs> So what we are going to put is a floor lamp here. We're also going to have a reading chair, which goes here as well, just for a bit of sort of like a private area. Okay, yeah. Um, so that's still due to go in. Um, and this is the master bedroom. So, sorry mate, come in. <laughs> yeah, I like the blue. It's nice. Yeah. 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 Every room is painted a different colour, so I quite like it because it gives character to each room, so each room has its own feel. Um, and then finally you've got the ensuite bathroom in there. Yeah. I do. So what's the rent on this place? It's one three. One three. Yeah. And you said a nightly rate up to? One eight nine. One eight nine. That's what we like to so get. So what profit margins would that give you? So it's about one and a half thousand. One and a half thousand. One thousand five hundred profit. Yeah. On yeah. one property. On one property, yeah. And your other three properties, similar margins. Yeah, they're all over a thousand pounds. Yeah, nice. Profit. Yeah. And you yeah. joined back in May. Joined back in May. Yeah. Yeah. It's been 
it's been a good journey so far. Yeah. yeah it's been fast. It's been fast paced. It's been supported. And, um, you know, yeah, we're just sort of picking up essays all the time now, it seems. It seems like the more essays you pick up, the more leverage you can give yourself when you're talking to landlords and agents. Yeah. You've got a bit yeah. of, you've got a bit of, uh, um, evidence of the work and you've got belief in yourself now you've got belief in yourself yeah, yeah definitely it comes across doesn't it yeah and it's, it's like you said you know a, a, a sort of one of the things that slowed me down a lot when i started was um thinking about the furnishing like how am i going to do the furnishing how much is it going to cost um whereas now that i found a way to do it quite cheap the furnishing isn't so scary anymore yeah i've got a good contact and environmental place so i pick up rentals really cheap um and it just makes everything really really easy so once you sort of get around that stuff, uh, it just becomes a case of picking up the properties and then just doing what you do best, and you know, and get it done. Get it done. Get it yeah. done. Yeah. Get it done. Yeah. So, what was your biggest fear when starting service accommodation at the very start? Like, what think, was your biggest fear? I think the biggest fear. I think the biggest fear most people have is that you're going to take something on that um, that you can't afford, that doesn't work. You've not done your due diligence right, and you're going to end up losing a lot of money. I think, I, think that's, I think that's the biggest fear that most people would have. Yeah. Um, and I think that's where it comes down to doing thorough due diligence. It is due diligence. That's yeah. the most 100%. You've got to fill yourself with confidence, haven't you? You do, yeah. And if you don't, get the confidence and you walk away from it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And so, yeah, um, so far so good. Every property that I've picked up has achieved the numbers that I forecasted it achieving. So hopefully this one's no different. <laughs> The baby on this property. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how have you found the mentorship? It's been great. Yeah, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have got this far without it. I, yeah. I can remember you were absolutely buzzing to be part of the, the Rise Up community. How, how how did you feel when you first entered it? it felt good. Yeah, it's like you you join a network of like minded people, and I think that's quite hard to find. You're trying to talk for me, aren't you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think that's quite hard to find is, you know, if, if you're, if you haven't got a network naturally, like with your friend groups and things like this, it can be quite hard to get around, around people who are passionate about property in the same way that you are, or who even understand the same strategies. And so what was quite nice is entering into the group is you're immediately um, uh, uh, put into a group of people who, who have the same uh, aims, objectives that you do, the same goals. And, um, and everyone has different experience. And so anything that you need to clarify or to get on top of or to get help with, there's always someone to support you with it. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's changed everything. Yeah, nice. So what's the goals for next year? Goals for next year is to master systemization. So I want to master the systemizing of the cleaning. I want to master the management. So speak to management companies, start building, start building connections with them. <laughs> And eventually get to five properties, hand those over to a management company, and then just rinse and repeat. Pick up the next five, hand them over. The next five, hand them over. So I can over time become truly hands off and make it truly passive income. That's yeah. the that's the plan, really. Nice. Well, good luck to you, mate. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. So we better go feed this little one. Yes. You eat, you? Yeah. Well, thanks for giving us a tour. Yeah. You're more than Appreciate welcome. It. Anytime. So that's it, that's Ivan's property. Onwards and upwards for him. This 2024 is gonna be huge. He's got some big plans. Stay tuned, see you guys next time.